absolutely fantastic. Greg, you're the man. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And as you can see, I'll just I'll just turn it down a little bit. But uh, this is, I think, maybe the fifth or fourth time I've been I've watched this. I'm I, I, I'm absolutely blown away. And to think this talented great man is is watching the show, uh, is supporting the channel, is watching the show. is It's an absolute honor. Um, and Greg, you know, anytime you want to talk watches, just just feel free to email me. It's an absolute pleasure. I I, I watched it first time with my wife. Uh, we both absolutely loved it. Um, and I must admit, I, I adore Beethoven, but out of all of the composers, um, Beethoven is probably the the composer I'm least familiar with. I'm, I mean, I know that sounds crazy because there's so many famous, famous uh, Beethoven pieces that are just instantly recognizable, but uh, it's, 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 you know, I've been, I've been going through a Wagner phase. I've, I've, recently I've been going for a, uh, well, I'm always going for a Wagner phase, but and recently more Verdi, Puccini, but um, more towards operas, but now I'm kind of. This has got me more curious about Beethoven. So I'm. I'm. Anyway, I'll just. I'll try and move over so you can. So you can see Greg doing working his magic. Anyway, Greg, <laughs> fantastic. Now today we're going to be doing uh, viewer collections. We're going to do this in a slightly different format because. Um, let me just turn Greg down a tiny bit. Not that I want to, but now. If you wish to have your collection reviewed individually in a video, especially for you, uh, just email me at my Gmail and you will get a response of, of details of how to go about submitting your review. Uh, all you have to do is a small donation to my charity of choice or a charity of your choice. Um, the most important thing is that you get a, a, a record of your donation. Doesn't matter how big or how small. It's just as long as you make that uh, donation to charity, then I'm willing to put my, you know, the time, work, and effort uh, of my own into doing a video for your collection. I don't mind doing the work. I just I, I think it's it's fair that um, all I ask in return is to support um, some kind of charity, either your charity of choice. Or my charity of choice, which is of course the, the Royal British Legion. Now, um, so what I'm what I've decided to do, I'm going to just. I had a whole bunch of viewer collections in the queue, so I'm just going to go through them very very quickly today. Uh, it's also worthy to point out. I know I have a ton of viewer emails to do. I, I'm literally. It's a bit of a difficult situation. I've got so many emails now that. Um, I'm scared to do it because I, I, I've, I'm, you know, I can't include all of them, and I, I don't want to offend people that that have written these long, long emails to me. And I really do appreciate, it and I will be doing a viewer emails quite soon. Okay, I just have quite a few. There's, I've got another watch arriving tomorrow. I've got a few cultural videos to do. I'm also working on a, a, a my next short film. Actually, I've been working on that for for a few days now. Um, which hopefully I should finish this week, excuse me. But anyway, without further ado, let's let's dive into the uh, watch collections. Now the first collection, this is from Arvid, and uh, Arvid is from Sweden. He just wants to say, just wants to start out by saying, I thoroughly enjoy watching your videos and I absolutely adore your collection. I've just started, well, thank you very much. I've just started collecting and I currently own two pieces uh, that are worth mentioning. A Tudor Heritage Black Bay 
with a blue bezel um, bracelet that was my grandfather's, absolutely stunning. Um, by the way, I'll, um, I'll try and put pictures while I talk about these watches uh, so you guys can see. And the second watch he has is a, is a 50s Omega Seamaster. Uh, I'm looking to add to my collection perhaps a chronograph or something else, no bigger than 42 millimeters. I'm 16 years old, uh, 182 centimeters tall. I don't know why. That's uh, well, maybe I, g I guess that that's relative to your scale. I would love to get your opinion and advice, and and I hope to hear from you soon. Best regards, Avid. Well, Avid, he sent me these pictures, and I got to say, that Tudor heritage. What what a wonderful thing to 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 have as a handmade as as an heirloom piece as a you know that it's it's I don't know why but there's there's something about the the real uh, not the reissues but the original Tudor heritage there's something about the original Tudor heritage that just screams class I think it's a slightly more sophisticated choice because it's under the radar it's almost like saying no no I I, you know, the branding is, is less important to me. What's important is the quality of the watch. You know, it's that kind of understated, it's, it's the more refined, slightly more... I'm not saying that the Submariner is not sophisticated or any of that, of course it is. There's just something a little bit more classy about... about because you think, at, 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 on first appearance, it looks like a sub, like a vintage sub, but then you notice the little snowflake hands. And Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. You're very, very lucky. Um, what a fantastic watch to inherit. And, yet, and then your second watch is equally kind of, I, I presume, the same period or a little bit earlier. This gold um, Omega Seamaster. It's just, oh, it's just, that really is class. I mean, fantastic. Yeah, those two watches, I, I could, sp sorry, forgive, forgive the NYPD. What a pair! What a what a classy pair! I mean, really, it it doesn't get more classy than that, you know. So what would what do you want to add? Well, you want you want a chronograph, you say, and I think yeah, I think that's a that's a really you got a dress watch, you got a you got a, a diving watch, a chronograph, an absolutely fantastic trilogy. I think I think that's a great idea. So a chronograph under forty two mils. What would I look at? Well, the 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 prime choice would be the Speedmaster, one of the Speedmasters. But you know, you're 16. That's that's another thing. Is you're 16 and you have two two watches like this that are, are almost, I would say, more refined than anything I have in my collection. You know, um, a 16 year old with this quality of watches is absolutely fantastic. It kind of, it makes me happy and positive about the future that there are young people that have such good taste in watches um, just fills with fills me with 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 optimism about the future avid I think I think a speedmaster possibly um, you could even maybe not your style but maybe some kind of um, you know like a, a like an aviation aviation themed chronograph um, I mean obviously I've got I got sin on the mind, but um, maybe the their version of the Navi Time, the, the 904 or was it 904 903? You know, you know the one I mean. Something very classic to kind of complement, because there's definitely a retro theme here with the two. So I would go with something very very classic. You know, even maybe some of the the Hamiltons, the Hamilton chronographs. They're very kind of conservative, very restrained in their design. So I'm thinking something along the lines of uh, Khaki, Pilot Pioneer, you know, the X-Patrol. The X-Patrol is, is one that, that I, I've actually owned before. Um, I, th I think that would suit your kind of aesthetic. Your, the, the, you have a very, very refined conservative taste and I commend you on it because um, it's, it's not what I would expect from a person your age, but I mean, you're from Sweden, and uh, and you know Sweden is a f place full of enlightened, refined, uh, 
um, very stylish people. So I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not overly surprised, you know. But um, you're totally on the right path. I would, I would look at the the Hamilton Aviation pieces, or may, uh, maybe maybe a vintage Omega Speedmaster. Even, even there's an there's a there's a, there's a Longines. Uh, I think it's the Heritage 1954. Very small. Well, not small. It's it's like 38, 40 millimeter chronograph. Extreme. It's got a kind of a very classic aesthetic. It's very kind of post-war. I think that would suit you. Another alternative uh, would be maybe the the the, the Junkers um, kind of Bauhaus. The, the chronograph version of the, the, the Bauhaus that I previously reviewed. Again, classic kind of 60s um, stylings that, 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 that really complement the watches you have already. So yeah, I, I, fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see a, a collector that's 16 years old with such good taste. Pure class, your watches. I, I commend you. Uh, I absolutely adore Sweden, so, um, you know, a, a massive thank you. So thank you very, very much for sending that in. Let's, let's go on to the next email. This is from Phil. And Phil writes, I've recently acquired three vintage Squire watches belonging to my nonno. Nonno is um, grandfather in, in, in Italian. My father had been holding on to them for, quite, for his entire life. I'm 24 as my nonna passed away before I was born. Uh, over the last few years I've been getting into horology quite a bit and so my dad saw fit to give me these amazing pieces. Through researching the brand I came across your channel which I've come to enjoy quite a bit. Thank you very much. Uh, I've also seen your respect for the brand and also learnt a lot about Squire through some of your past videos. That's fantastic. Really, really proud of that. Uh, anyways, I wanted to send you a few pictures of these pieces. Uh, as somebody who enjoys the brand and watches in general, I wanted to share with you. Also passed on to me was my nonno's Bretling Transocean Chronograph from 73. Very, very cool indeed. I was amazed both Automatic Squire and the Transocean kept nearly perfect timing uh, running uh, over the last past two, two weeks. Best regards, Phil. Wow, as you can see, what a stunning blue on that Squire, and you've put the, the orange strap on it, absolutely fantastic. And that Bretling, I mean, it's, what a cool retro design, the, those orange hands, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I'd really like to know what, what watches you've added to this, uh, or what, um, what you're considering. They're so... Um, they just there's a cool factor that bright you know bright colors and and, and really not, they really play with the with the contrasting colors. I, I love what you've you've put the straps on them. You're having fun with the straps. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, what would I add to to such a a, a cool collection? Um, right. So you got a Squire and a Bretling, both very retro. Um, both kind of have a. a, a a nautical theme here. I think you do kind of need something a bit more modern, a bit more robust. I would imagine that, you know, despite the Squiler being a diver, because of their age, they are going to be a little bit more delicate. And also, you don't you don't want to bang them about a bit. So, it's such a cool collection. I, for some reason, I, I think a Rolex in there would be really cool, you know, like a... like a... An explorer, what a GMT function. I think that's what you need. You got the, you got a, you got a fantastic, cool chronograph from the 70s. You got a diver, both just oozing personality and and, and color. And I would go with um, something a little bit more. Actually, you know what would be really cool? A Rolex Explorer 2 with an orange hand, because then you got they've all got orange hands. You know, <laughs> I think that would be really really cool you know um, to keep the orange you know the, just to keep the theme running what, what do you think what do you guys think a, a, a Rolex Explorer 2 with the with the orange hand maybe well you got one with white dial you got a blue dial 
Maybe add a black dial. Black dial explorer two. I think that's what that's what would really really make it a powerful powerful threesome. You know, a powerful trilogy. You know. Okay. Thank you very much, Phil. Thank I really enjoyed seeing those. Absolutely stunning watches. Enjoy them. Treasure them. You know, it looks like you're going to have many more years of enjoyment out of these. Uh, uh, well, you know, they're treasures. They belong in a museum. They're fantastic. Very envious. So thank you for sharing that. Moving on. Now, this collection is from... This is from Jason Weston, and he's 34 from Virginia. Um, and this is quite a large collection. This is a collection of G-Shocks. So, let's just quickly go through them. He has the... GB1001 blah 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 Okay, the, I'm not gonna go through all the numbers because there, it's just I don't want to be here all the time But he has a Navi Hawk, Citizen Navi Hawk He has a Mud Man, he has a Range Man He has a Green Range Man He has the GPW1000 which is a GPS and he says that that's his favourite He has a Citizen Eco Drive Ecosphere He has the Gulf Master and the MTGS1000, I believe that's the um, the steel, the all steel G-Shock. Um, I was really excited about this collection because it's so modern. It's at the cutting edge. It's at the forefront of horological kind of technology, really. You've got uh, several versions of the Range Man, which is 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 the, uh, in my opinion, it's the premier. Well. Not only in my opinion, it's it's pretty much the premier ABC G-Shock. I mean, there's there's no other G-Shock that has all three uh, altimeter barometer compass, um, whereas others have dual sensors. It's the first with the triple sensor, so it's it's a it's a really important watch for for G-Shock. And um, you know, you guys know I've done various reviews. Uh, there's a review of me actually hunting with. With the G, with the Range Man, uh, it's a fantastic watch. I love this collection because it's it's. Let me just turn that down. Really modern. It's really cool. It 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 says so much about this person. It's it's. Um, you're obviously somebody that has a very active lifestyle. That's obviously outdoors a lot. Um, there's 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 obviously a military kind of theme running through here. I love the, the, the addition of the Navi Hawk with the G-Shocks. I, I think it's a fantastic collection. I, I only wish you had a, a shot of all the watches together. That would have been really cool. Now, personally, obviously, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. It needs an automatic piece in there. I would start looking at, you know, Seiko SKXs, that kind of thing. But maybe, you know, judging by this collection, it seems that you're not you're not taken by the automatic, you don't want to go down that route because the watches that do have an analog hand are still quartz and they are still kind of anti-digi, they still, you know, so you've still got one foot in that digital um, uh, realm. So I would, maybe you don't want um, an automatic, and, and if you don't, that's fine, that's fine. Um, maybe a high-end luxury any digi watch. Have you heard of the Omega X33? It's a Speedmaster with a with a digital and analog dial. It's quartz. Very very cool. There's also a, um, an any digi watch from Hamilton at about a grand that I think you really like called the I think it's the Flight Time. Let me just check. Yeah, it's the Flight Time of Quartz. I, I have it actually on my screen. It's right. It's that one with the orange strap. Have a look at that. I think that would be really. That that's basically because you're getting a Swiss timepiece, but with the functions and features that you so obviously like from your G-Shocks. So I have a look at that. Um, you've probably heard of the Bretling Emergency. Uh, but the problem with that is it's extremely expensive. I think maybe a little bit over the top, but a more more affordable and dare I say it, even maybe a little bit more tasteful version would be the the Hamilton Flight Timer. And ultimately, I th I think so far the most interesting 
well designed and best looking any digi watch has got to be the Omega X33 Speedmaster, absolutely stunning. Anyway, I really like this uh, collection. Very intrigued by the steel, the twisted steel. What I think they call it, call it the twisted steel. But anyway, the the first this uh, steel G-Shock really does intrigue me. It says so much about you. I think it's 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 fantastic. You've definitely got a very particular taste, and as a collection, I think it works really really well. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So have a look at check out the the, the Hamilton Flight Timer. Uh, and also the, the Omega X33 Speedmaster. I think I think you'd really like those. You obviously haven't got any dress watches in there. You haven't got any kind of mechanical pieces. You you obviously don't want to go down that route. But if you were, you know, you you are 34. You know, if you wanted something to wear a little bit more formal, a little bit more with a bit more pedigree and status to it. You know, I think an Omega X33 would be fantastic. It'd be, it'd be your, your kind of, um, it'd be a luxury version of basically what, what you have already. So, I don't know, let me know what you think about that. Anyway, Jason, thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, fantastic collection, absolutely adore it. Okay, lastly we have, uh, this is from David. He says, uh, Dear TGV, I hope you don't mind me emailing you to give you thanks. While I'm a subscriber, I do, I do not have a YouTube channel to enable me to comment. So I wanted to thank you in an email. I'm new to your channel, but arrived thanks to 555 Gear, uh, as I enjoy pocket knives and watches. 555 Gear, absolutely fantastic channel. If you guys don't know about Andrew at 555, check it out. It's a, it's one of my favorite channels. Um, I've got an up-and-coming knife review. He sent me a whole bunch of knives to review, uh, which I'm going to be doing very soon. Anyway, he goes on to say, I always enjoyed watches. I came to the appreciate automatics a bit late in life, uh, or later than you. My hung humble collection, humble. <laughs> my humble collection includes some quartz, Luminox, Seiko, Citizen, Casio Pathfinder, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I share your amazement at how so much is packed into these great G-Shock and Pathfinder uh, watches. Completely agree. Highly, highly, um, I think watch people that, that don't, you know, that look past these are, are really missing out. My initial foray into luxury, uh, luxury brand is Ball Ceramic uh, XV, which I purchased three years ago. It's an amazing uh, piece and somewhat obscure, but very high quality brand. Ball combines, I've heard good things about Ball, I must admit. I also enjoy the Lumino Luminox Automatic, a homage, um, and a rather large TW Steel Automatic. I've attached some photos. I especially like the videos about your Submariner and how the, its acquisition made you feel. I think this as aspect of watch collecting is most interesting. The grail is a celebration of, of something and celebrations are to be felt, not merely experienced. Right, well, he makes reference to the video I made about my Submariner. Uh, it was to mark my 30th and it was a kind of grail piece for me. Something I'd always wanted as a child, so that's, that's what he's referring to there. Despite my interest in Squalit and now Sin, uh, a sub is must is a must for me next. I simply must scratch that itch. Yeah, I, I can I, I can understand that. Please accept my thanks for an exceptional channel and best wishes for your continued success. Best regards, David. Thank you very much, uh, David. Really appreciate the kind words about my channel. Thank you. Right, let's have a look at David's collection. Love the the uh, Pro Trek. Fantastic watches. Um, I'm quite familiar with the mod module in that one because it was the same module used in the PRW3000. I might be wrong about the number, but anyway. Bravo! Bravo! Greggy boy. Fantastic. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it. I'm just gonna rewind that. Anyway, so back to what we were talking about. Right. Let's have a look at his watches. Love that uh, Seiko. 
I, I, I got to say, I like the ball. I like the look of it. Um, the the little crown guard thing is very very cool. The the blacked out uh, Navi Hawk is it Navi Hawk? I think it is from Citizen. Fantastic watch. T W Steel. I'm 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 not familiar with at all, so I can't really comment. Uh, the Luminox ones. Uh, I, I like the black one at the back, very very military, reminds me of uh, the, mar the Marathon a bit. The other watches, there's another couple of Luminoxes, um, it's fine. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a very usable collection, I, I, I think, I could totally see what you mean, I think um, actually yeah, the, 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 the next step would be Rolex, I mean it, it, is, it is a big step going from these pieces to Submariner. Well, it depends if you go with the older Submariner or you go with the, with the um, ceramic. I, I, I don't know which you prefer, but um, yeah, I, it, it's gonna be a really interesting step for you. Um, I really like your collection. I think there are a few pieces there I, I, I'm, I'm not so keen on. Uh, but for me, my the ones that, I, I, that really stand out, the, the ball watch, the, the, the Seiko chronograph, fantastic. Um, the Pro Trek, absolutely fantastic. And the Citizen, I think those four are really, really strong. Uh, the ball and the Citizen Navy Hawk are really, really strong. I think a, a, a solid traditional diver like the Submariner really bring a whole new level to it. Um, you didn't mention Omega, I would, I'd be interested to see what you, you thought of Omega. Maybe, you know, for you maybe looking at Tudor, the Black Bay or something like that would be an interesting way of a more affordable, a kind of a, a middle step before you go all the way to Rolex because you're, you're, you're jumping up quite a few tiers. Well, you don't want to miss out on the enjoyment of that middle range. I mean, you mentioned Sin, you, men you mentioned Sin, you mentioned uh, Squally. Um, and then later on add some middle middle pieces to kind of balance it out because there's a lot of entry level pieces here uh, which is fine nothing wrong with that I would then you know maybe let a few of your pieces go and then add some more mid mid range pieces I think that would be fantastic but but um, I gotta say I I, I I really I do like the look of that uh, Seiko chronograph. I get your Submariner. Keep keep that as your you know um, as your Grail or your your goal. In the meantime, start getting a few mid-level pieces. Go for the Squally. I think I think you'd love the Squally. Uh, maybe even some more Seikos, some more kind of um, uh, you know the the Saab zero three three. I think you I think you'd like the Saab range. There's a, there's the Cocktail. There's the um, Alpinist. One, it's quite a few, you know. Just um, so have, yeah. I think keep saving for the the sub, and in the meantime, get some mid-level pieces in. You know, get get some, move some pieces around, get rid of some lesser pieces, get some mid pieces in. So, so while you're saving for that submariner, you still you you can still enjoy and grow the the collection and draw, and enjoy the hobby more and then when that Submariner arrives you will have a, a, a more varied a, a more of an eclectic mix to kind of contrast with the with the Submariner and then then, then you'll have a better understanding of it all and, and I, I, I just feel I feel the, the mid-range is the way to go for you definitely but yeah a fantastic collection you, you, you've, you've, you've um, a really solid start quite intrigued by the ball I've, I've, I've heard good things about ball watches so yeah fantastic thank you very very much David for sharing that so anyway I'm gonna wrap it up there guys um, please let me know your, what your, your thoughts are your comments down below I will be doing your viewer emails fairly sh soon I have a couple of new watches arriving on the way that I'm very excited about uh, obviously I'm, I'm still in a I'm still in a trial period of, of, of uh, you know evaluating the sin so that's also coming very soon uh, but but yeah a lot of stuff in the pipeline so stay tuned anyway guys please let me know what you think down below please like this video if you enjoyed it 
a big congrats and shout out to uh, the maestro there. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Okay, ciao.